my name is Mark Tribe, and I'm an artist. I came here to the Venice Biennale kind of at the last minute. Um, I've done some curating in the past, and I teach um, media uh, art theory and practice at Brown University. Well, I think it was about in the early to mid 1990s um, biennials, uh, international exhibitions um, at different cities around the world became uh, a, an important fixture in the art world and this was uh, uh, concomitant with um, globalization in general, the globalization of the art world and the globalization of economies. Um, since then another kind of um, global uh, type of art world event, the art fair, has become as important if not more important than, than Biennale's really in the last five or ten years um, with the globalization of capital. But um, the Venice Biennale is the, the grandmother of, of Biennale's. It was the first one, uh, how old is it? 110 years old. Um, and uh, to some extent, it's, it's the model or the anti-model for other contemporary biennales. Um, it's organized um, by nation, so different countries come and have pavilions. Um, and then there are, there's a, uh, a main curated exhibition that brings together artists from multiple countries. It's organized by a particular curator uh, for each biennale. Um, so that's an international group show. And then there are... Um, ancillary or corollary um, exhibitions um, you know, organized by different curators, mounted by different institutions, funded by um, you know, different places um, around Venice that happened at the same time because a, you know, a good chunk of the international art world um, descends on Venice, um, particularly for the opening weekend. Um, the opening few days are just ending and uh, this is uh, the Saturday that it opens to the public. Um, art fairs are um, commercial events. They're like trade shows for art galleries. Um, generally, they're invitational, so the organizers of an art fair, such as the Armory Show in New York, uh, Art Basel, which takes place um, every summer in Basel, Switzerland, and then they have a new uh, version of it every winter in Miami. Uh, Freeze in London, those are the sort of biggest ones. Um, there's one called Arco in Madrid. In any case, um, galleries around the world um, apply to, to get in, and then if they're accepted, they um, create uh, an exhibition in a, in a booth, um, usually in a kind of trade show venue, like a convention hall. And um, they're explicitly commercial in nature. Their work that they show there is for sale, and they hope to make money um, by coming there. Um, the Biennale, by contrast, is ostensibly a non-commercial event. The work here is generally not for sale, um, in theory, although people, I think, do see work here and then um, negotiate with, um, you know, gallerists who are here to purchase work, and serious collectors, that is. Um, and, of course, the work that is, is exhibited here has, in many cases, although not exclusively, uh, received validation in the marketplace. So most, of, if not all, of the galleries whose work we'll see in the Arsenale have major galleries in one of the art world capitals, New York, Paris, Berlin. So who's here? It's artists, curators, gallerists, journalists. Um, I would say, uh, I suppose it's most, well, so there's being represented here, there's participating, and uh, for participants, I would say it's most important for artists. Well, it's, I mean, it's, all three parties are involved, like artists and curators' careers are made here, and gallerists uh, have a stake in it too, because if their artists are represented here and are well regarded here, it will likely help them sell their work. Um, and in terms of coming to learn, or to be seen, to see and be seen, Again, it's probably equally important for, for all. Probably most important though, though for the curators because this is an opportunity for them to see art from around the world that they might not otherwise see. Biennials are, by their very nature, selective. And um, that can be read, especially if you're not among the selected as a kind of exclusion. So by selecting one artists or one group of collaborating artists to represent the United States, for example, this year, you know, thousands of other artists have been 
uh, excluded. It's the nature of uh, curating. Uh, on an institutional level, I think the Biennale um, could be critiqued as reifying nationalism that is, you know, organized by nation. Different nations have their pavilions. Most other biennials now don't organize themselves that way. Um, and, you know, Venice is an expensive city. It's expensive for most people to get here and expensive to stay here, expensive to eat here and travel around the city and uh, to even to get into the venues. It costs 20 euros, which is about 30 US dollars, whatever, 28, something like that, to get in to the Arsenale. Um, so there's a kind of economic uh, exclusivity uh, de facto um, that operates as well. It would depend on what role you'd want to play here. Whether you'd want to be an artist, uh, a gallerist, a collector, uh, a dealer, which is more or less the same as a gallerist, but some dealers don't have galleries, um, or a curator. And probably the logical first step would be to try to um, work for or with one of those people. To be, uh, you know, some collectors have people who work for them. Um, you know, large collectors often have people who help them um, manage and organize their collections. One caveat there is that you may end up, you know, taking their dry cleaning to the laundry sometimes. You know, sometimes they, they're curatorial assistants slash personal assistants. Um, so curators often have assistants, both the most successful independent curators, more often those affiliated with institutions, and, uh, and artists have assistants. Uh, and certainly there's lots of uh, young men and women uh, who work in art galleries um, and uh, sometimes they get to come along. There are other biennials that are more accessible. You know, you can start out by going to the biennial nearest you. <laughs> um, certainly um, the Berlin Biennial um, would be easier uh, or less expensive anyway to attend. Or um, there's Documenta, which happens every five years in Kassel, Germany. Mm -hmm.